Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man, flock nation, man. What's good with y'all? How y'all feeling? Friday morning. Uh, great win. Main reason I'm saying great win. Uh, it was a divisional game. Must win game. It wasn't pretty, but, you know, we did our thing. Uh, I want to say shouts out to uh, uh, Flock and Ravens. Shouts out to uh, 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 Ravens over everything. Shouts out to the subs. Shouts out to uh, Dre. Shouts out to my dog Ray Kwan. Uh, shouts out to my dog Tyron Carwell. Uh, man, just across the board, man. Before I get any further, too. Um, I hope Mark Andrews gets gets better, man. I know he he's pretty much done for the season, but uh, that that was. I'm glad we didn't get deflated by that happening. You know what I'm saying? That was really tough to watch. Uh, I've always been one of the toughest critics of Mark Andrews and. I did not want to see that for him. Uh, that suck. I feel his frustrations. Uh, Logan Wilson. Uh, uh, we admit that. We admit that. Logan Wilson, you're a fucking bitch, dog. For real. Uh, it's no way around it. Like, you're a hoe. Um, uh, I just was really surprised by that. It didn't stop from him, of course, as we see. Uh, trying to injure Lamar and then obj like what the fuck like can you get ejected for this because y'all ejected uh fucking uh, uh what's his name uh kyle and shouts out to kyle for having a great game and we got to secure the win today so like he didn't get to play uh how can i say uh and, and kyle fashion so to speak like you know what i'm saying but he made his impact on the game uh, enough uh, and we secured the win, so that was awesome to see. I was just telling uh, Ravens over everything, I believe, man. It was just like, damn, like, no, no, it wasn't Ravens over everything. I think it was a new sub or something, man. Uh, shouts out to him. I cannot remember your name right now, bro. Uh, but I was just messaging him in the comments off of the last video. He was talking about how uh, he was mentioning that word, how Kyle, man, it just never can go right sometimes with uh, all factors going into the game. You know, Kyle makes a big play. We lost the last one. You know what I'm saying? That type deal. So, you know, he got to make his impact on the game, and we still got to win. Uh, I really want to get into the game, too, real real quick, and then I'm going to keep talking about the individual play or players. Uh, I really think this offense had a, a messy outing yet again, uh, if I'm being real. Um, oh, before I go any further, and my dog Ray Quan can attest for this. I had the score being 42-16. If we would have hunkered in, hunkered the fuck down and really been on our shit, that would have definitely been the game. But uh, either way, it went the way it did. I ain't tripping. Again, a win is a win, so it is what it is. But, um, yeah, we, our offense still does not look like it's at a hundred percent especially now with Andrews being gone whether likely or uh, uh, Kohler steps up I don't know we don't know but I, I got optimism for him but I'm just saying you know that's definitely a, takes a big blow to the office I'm gonna be honest do I think we could live up to expectations still with, with uh, uh, Andrews being out yes um but I'm going to need for Lamar. He he was doing it in the first and second quarter, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to need Lamar to start getting the fuck out of bounds. Get the fuck out of bounds. Slide. Throw the fucking ball away, dog. I cannot tolerate seeing no more hits on this dude. I'm not even saying he took any big hits. But the, the dirty shit. The dirty shit. And this is exactly why fucking Burrow didn't even get to finish the game. Not that we was on some dirty shit, but y'all want to keep playing dirty. It's only going to affect y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to play that type of game. Best believe something's going to happen to y'all during the game, and y'all ain't going to be able to bounce back from. 
It happened to Watson already. Now it happened to Burrow. Y'all want to keep playing the fuck dirty, it's going to keep happening to y'all. So I expect any team from here on out that's listening, any uh, fan of any team that's out there listening that ain't the Ravens, y'all keep playing on that bullshit, it's going to keep happening, okay? Play a clean game, and, and we can go We can go any way you want to go. You feel me? But don't be coming with that bullshit. Logan Wilson was coming with that bullshit, and look what happened to Burrow. I wish he would have tried to come the fuck back out. I seen that motherfucking hand. That shit was swollen. They was talking about that shit before the game. They was talking about that shit uh, the day before the game. Talking about they see his hand wrapped up uh, uh, coming out the airport, whenever the fuck it was happening, or off the plane. You feel me? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's blood in the water. I don't want to hear nothing about no motherfucking injuries. Granted, our guy went down my injuries, but I'm talking about opposing. I don't want to hear shit. Now look at him. You feel me? What is Joe Burrow the top five in? I want to know. Top five in, in occurring injuries? Uh, 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 can't stay healthy? Is he even above 500 this year as a winning Q, as a QB and win percentage? Is he above 500 right now? Anybody know? Talking all that shit, Bengals fans. Now look at y'all. Um, yeah, Lamar needs to get out of bounds, get out of harm's way a lot more. Uh, like I said, he was doing he was doing his part first and second quarter, if I'm not mistaken. But he started getting a little careless at the end, uh, leading up to where he ran and grabbed his ankle. I'm like, oh my god, why? My first reaction was, why every time around the same year Lamar get hurt? What the hell? And I was so glad he was able to fight through that shit because I'm like, yo, I can't take it right now. God damn it. God damn it. That's GOT. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? But the homie pulled through. He fought through. Made it work. Um, Gus, it's official. He's the red zone running back. We need to keep Gus. Keep it going. Keep the momentum going. He's unstoppable in the red zone. Um, Shouts out to the rookie, Tavius Robinson. I seen him making plays early on, but woo, woo, he put that shit all together like Oway did. Speaking of Oway, shouts out to the Nigerian, one third of the Nigerian nightmare. You feel me? Holding it down. Matabika had a quiet night, but guess who showed up? Oway. A lot of people was hating on Oway, man. A lot of people was hating on Oway. Where is, you got to give him his respect, yo. A lot of people was hating on Oway. You know who you are, Road Pod. Calling him, he wasn't worth the draft pick. But he's showing up, getting a sack every game. Impacting the game. His moves is there. They was clowning bro, saying he ain't had no moves. I seen that film last night, okay? When they was running back some of his highlights. Oh, my God. They was holding Oway. I didn't even have to see the highlights. They was holding Oway a good portion of the game in the first quarter, if not into the second. He was getting frustrated, and that's where that face mask shit started coming out. That's just my opinion. But bro was doing this thing. Uh, man, uh, who else? Who else? Who else? I was not impressed. I told y'all yesterday, I mean last video, I tried to tell y'all, this defense, do not compare this defense to the defense of the previous years and the past with Ray. Don't do it. 
I tried to tell y'all, we got fucking ran over again by fucking Joe Mixon. I ain't blaming neither one individually. I'm blaming them together as a linebacker core duo. What the fuck is going on with Queen and Roquan right now? Neither one of them can cover and pass coverage. Queen can't even get his hands off the running back at the first level. He getting off blowing right past him. Don't get me wrong. I seen the play with Roquan. Got through. Bust through the linebacker and, was, and pretty much made the play. Or, or this was when the uh, backup was in. But still. Why the fuck is, is these running backs getting off on us, yo? Y'all supposed to be locking it the fuck up. I need y'all to tighten the fuck up. You feel me? Queen, you know, I fuck with you because, again, you was the only LSU player Ravens ever drafted, not to mention a linebacker. You're young, you're learning, all that. There's a bunch of upside. But, bro, you is not going to stay no raven letting passes go over top of your head like that. And we cut CJ, and we let CJ Mosley walk. Because he couldn't cover shit. You damn sure better believe we ain't going to Resign your ass, goddammit. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping the 100, bro. I'm just letting you know. Uh, yeah, I, I Queen, uh, Roquan, you already got your bread, so it's not much. It's not much room there. But still, you still play like shit. I'm sorry. You had this. You had a couple plays. You know what I'm saying? I seen you put mixing on his ass, trying to pass block. That's cool. But. When it comes to that running game, you need to be first first one on the fucking tackle. Flat out. Ray Lewis ain't getting washed like that. Like, come on, bro. Queen, if you trying to really make some plays this year, get in that fucking weight room, dog. What the fuck, yo? You be letting these niggas run you the fuck over, bro. Damn. Uh... Who else? Who else? Uh, I've been I've been on Marcus Williams top lately, yo. I've been on his motherfucking head, dog. You know what I'm saying? But he he showed up today. Marcus Williams showed up. He let me know. I was I was pissed at Harbaugh when he said he he looked like he he gonna let him work himself back in, whatever. Like just still saying he not gonna pull Marcus Williams out of the game. I'm like, come on, dog. That's that's bullshit. But Marcus Williams showed up this game. I give him his props. He was he was he was making plays. He was making plays. I give it to him. He might not have been tagging the highest high. I wanted him to, but he was making plays for sure, for sure. Uh, he looked like the Marcus Williams that we had when he came to the team initially that season, uh, his first season. With it, excuse me. But uh, <clears throat> uh, away from that, um. I think well the bright moments we had. Uh OBJ showed out. Uh he let me know. He let me know that uh he ready, he ready going into the uh, later in the season, second half of the season. Uh we could have a conversation about whether we getting our value out of him or not, getting all uh based off the contract. We can have a conversation about that at any point in time. But just as far as production on the team and the time that we need it, especially with Andrews being hurt, I'm way fully, fully confident OBJ can be uh, uh, enough production of what we was expect, what we was getting from Andrews uh, to suffice now that he's going. You know what I'm saying? that made sense. I don't know if I worried that right, but still. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think whatever we, we lacking from not having Mark, 
we can get some of that production back from OBJ and the rest of the tight ends that we got right now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that dire, but it is a big blow to the offense. But uh, overall, still a great game, man. Glad we secured the win. I didn't like the fact that the backup 2B was able to get off on us like that every now and then. But regardless, we still beat these dudes. Uh, they in a position that they wasn't in uh, uh, going into the game. You know what I'm saying? They in the hole. The Bengals is in the hole. I don't want to hear no more Bengals talk about Joe Burrow the rest of the season. It's a wrap for them. It's a wrap. They're not going to win their next game. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, all we got to do is focus on what we got to do for ourselves. Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man, flock nation. Uh, it's a great it's a great Friday now. I, I really want to talk more about this game, too. But uh, I'm going to just keep it short. Uh, uh, love the production from Kyle. Uh, love the production from uh, uh, um, uh, Keaton. You know what I'm saying? I love the effort from Lamar, still fighting through. Um, uh, shouts out to Bateman. I don't know if I said something about him earlier, but shouts out to Bateman getting his touchdown. I don't want I don't want that to go unnoticed. I ain't hating on the dude. Uh, I'm glad he got uh, his TD for the season. Uh, do I still feel confident enough that he is what we expected out of drafting him so early in the first round? Uh, I'm, I'm not too confident. But I'm still confident enough for this year, this season, this moment moving forward. Uh, we definitely going to need more from him, especially with uh, uh, Andrews being down. So Ravens Flock Man, Ravens Nation Man, Flock Nation, I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all be safe out here. Y'all protect y'all energy, man. Y'all know what's up. Uh, uh, it's good rapping with y'all, man. Uh, holler at me in the comments. I don't think this is going to be the last video I'm going to talk about this. Uh, uh, I definitely feel like there's other points I wanted to talk about in this game. Shouts out to All-22, too. Uh, All-22 Films. If y'all ain't checking him out, go check him out. Um, uh, great analysis on the game. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. And, and about the Lamar going back out for injury and all that shit uh, with the plays. It didn't piss me off as much because I, I, I felt like Lamar is going to do Lamar. No matter what nobody says, so if that's if he felt like he could run in that situation, you know what I'm saying. I, it really didn't piss me off or nothing like that. But uh, yeah, man. Either way, I can't wait to see what everybody got to say in, in the uh, ESPN world today. Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man. I'ma holler at y'all the next one, man. I'm out. Y'all be safe, like I said, man. Protect your energy, man. And matter of fact, shouts out to Tanja Bowman, too. I got a feeling she's going to watch this video. So, shouts out to you, Tanja. Uh, just because I can't comment to you don't mean I don't be watching your comments. Shouts out to you, man. I'm out, Joe.